you more. Uh, Thunder Dog. Ashe. Sun Bear. Ashe. We're not doing our um, ancestors yet. Okay, let's keep on going. Mithra. Ashe. El Shada. Ashe. Ja. Ashe. Madani. Ashe. Madanis. Ashe. Astarte. Ashe. Ionis. Ashe. Onerus. Ashe. Apis. Ashe. Hecate. Ashe. Hecate. Ashe. Rashui. Ashe. Teka. Ashe. Sheher. Ashe. Anu. Ashe. Yahweh. Ashe. Triple Krishna. Ashe. Buddha. Ashe. Brahma. Ashe. Shakti. Ashe. Shiva. Ashe. Kali. Ashe. Elkada. Ashe. Okay. We're gonna get this. We're gonna dedicate this last Ashe to the triple blackness of space in the Arabic term, which is called the triple blackness of space, the great womb of the universe and the mother of God. We'll get into that. Called Layla. Ashe. All right. Now let's. I give my. I say I give the first three family members. I give them. Irene Shaw, my grandmother. Ashe. Raymond Shaw, my grandfather. Ashe. Ollie Hemet Sr. Ashe. Ollie Hemet Jr., that's my father. Ashe. Uh, Mabel D. Ford. Ashe. Uh, I want I want to give out all my people. Oh, Pamela Ray Mellon. Ashe. Come on with now. Ashe. 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 Just say them all together like that. In the home of Honorable Elijah Muhammad, we say when he first kicked off the whole mothership tour back in the early 30s. Honorable right. Elijah Muhammad. Ashe. Uh, Master Farah Muhammad. Ashe. Okay, uh, since we're gonna deal with the Moors a little bit, we say Noble Drew Ali. Ashe. All right, now I guess that'll do it right now. Malcolm X. Ashe. All right. Ashe. 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 Well, you go get me some spiky girl. Ashe. Ashe. Just give me some spiky water. I drink that. Whatever. I'll put the guard up in there and all. We got an old black medicine Indian woman from the Pinson Mounds. We call her name Ashe. Ashe. Okay, uh. Well, I guess we can go on. Yeah, whatever. Now, let's get right into this groove of things. Uh. Okay, oh, oh, that's right, you're supposed to do that. Come on, you, no, 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 you are wrong. Yeah. No, no, you go right here. I'm straight now. Right. We're doing well some new people in the room that yeah. have never been to one of Bobby's lectures. I met Bobby back in um, December in New York. I saw a videotape of his, and it was called um, Mothership One, I believe. No, Mothership Two. And when I first heard it, I got to admit, because he's so country from the South, when I heard it. It was hilarious to me, though within two minutes I shut up and I never laughed again. Um, he's from Atlanta, Georgia. He's graduated from where? Benedict College and Clark College. Clark College. And this is his second time from Detroit. So without uh, further ado, let's bring Bobby Heman on. Native American power, or Native Indigenous people. I don't want to say that American. 
We got black, we got African power, we got black people all over the diaspora because we know at one time this was all one land mass. Okay? So we got all this power and we don't use it. All we want to do is sit up and pray. The, the hierarchy has already said they're tired of you praying. <laughs> they said, look for nobody but yourself. So we're going to get into some things tonight, so I want you to do this. Remember, all the religions are one. The God is one. From ancient Kemet to ancient Iran or whatever you want to call it, the gods are one. In ancient Kemet it says, I set up a ladder to the gods, but I am one of them. And I, I holler like a goose until they hear my prayer and they report it to Sirius, the dog star. And the Holy Quran says, this is the Lord who created both male and female from one single ejaculated semen and will create all things anew. He, he is the Lord of Sirius. Well, if them people over there are pagans, what in the devil is the Lord of Sirius being our Allah in the Holy Quran if they're pagans? You see what I'm saying? That tells you right there that the God is one. And pagan only means the people. You never even check. So don't pay in religion. You never pagan means the people. But it's talking about our people. So therefore, when the white man says pagan, he's giving you this derogatory term as far as trying to tell you that, hey, that's them people. You see, we got our white Jesus Christ up in here. We're going to get into the religion. Halfway into this thing, we're going to get into what is called the alien agenda, the thing that has come down off of the aliens. So now, number one, I understand that uh, some of us are, are still into trying to prove to the white man how scholarly you can be by trying to do scholarship based on his system. But remember, we are on God's system, and therefore we don't have to prove nothing to the white man. You understand what I'm saying? So in that case, we need to use what's coming down into it. We are, we are already hooked up with the hierarchy. For some of you that are here, there's a government that governs this universe and governs this planet. We have already made contact with black people right in the middle of the ghetto. So therefore, you don't have to look to the white man and say that we got, we all got to live on this planet with white people. You don't have to live on this planet with white people. No more past 1995 if you do the things that's right. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to build you an altar to this particular God Thunderdome. You get you a wooden cloth. No, excuse me, get you something wood. Something wood, a, a, a stereo speaker, a end table, a, a table, anything that's wooden that symbolizes wood. It's got to be natural. Then you get you a yellow cloth, mainly uh, linen or cotton, because the gods don't want no polyester. You understand what I'm saying? Because the gods used to be you living on the earth. You see what I'm saying? So they don't want no polyester. They want the real deal. So you're going to get a yellow cloth. Linen or cotton. You know what I'm saying? You might can do some silk thing too. Anything fine. You know what I'm saying? You know. You know, something like that. Okay. Uh, stay away from the wool for the simple fact that's animal vibration. You know. All right. Um, okay, you can get um, a yellow and blue candle. Mainly those seven day candles. You don't have to burn it all the time. Because I done went through so many. I was like, man, this is costing me. So just burn it. You know, back you get up and when you burn it a little while, you can out it or whatever. Never blow out a candle. Remember that. Never blow out a candle. That uh, upsets the ancestors. Also, you're going to get a, a, a plate with some sunflower seeds, any kind of wheat or grain if you want to. I just put some sunflower seeds and some corn kernels, you know, some popcorn kernels or something like that. It symbolize indigenous grain on this hemisphere. So we're going to do... Uh, so you're going to get a plate, you're going to put some sunflower seeds and some corn. Then you're going to get a, a, a glass of water. Then you're going to think of this old black Indian, Indian medicine woman, and you're going to have her to bless the water. You know, just think of this old black woman putting her finger in and blessing the water. Okay? Then you're going to take something African. Those things are, are, are the native people of the Western Hemisphere. Then you're going to take something African or something what we say black. You know, you get you an ankh or an eye of hair or something or some cavalry shell symbolizing that human. Because we got to make that union with these spirits so we can get ready to take the beast off the planet. Okay? Then you're going to write out your list of Thunder Rock Dog. Anything that you want. Any kind of money, any kind of thing, prosperity, any kind of disease, whatever. You write it out and you put it on there. Now, don't front on this because one sister did it in Atlanta. She did it one day and the next day she got $10,000 worth of loans. She got all the school bills paid off and she, she's smiling through the bank right now. So this stuff can happen. You see what I'm saying? And, 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 and every hour, if I get down to a dollar in my pocket, even if I, because I don't work no more, on that level, I work for you all. Right. And all right, you know what I'm saying? That's a hard job. <laughs> <laughs> if I get down to a dollar, if somebody even just reaching 
their pocket and hand me some more money, it goes that way. You see what I'm saying? So, um, uh, you know, no, so you put those things together right after your list and put this in your altar in your house. That's the first thing you're going to do to get the peace off the planet. That's giving you some power now. Don't front because this thunder dog is powerful. You remember they had the storm, like I said before, they had the storm in Alabama. And this was the, the guy, this, this same thunder dog is the one that killed all the white people up in the church in Alabama about two months ago. So that's the power we're talking about. And we used to have that power. Okay? So don't front now. This is real deal. You see, everybody want to be free. You see what I'm saying? But nobody really wants to liberate themselves and take the steps to do. Because we want to be free on our accord. We want to get out. We still in the white man's way. We want to get out all our money and all this foolishness. That stuff is gone. Number one, you ain't going to come on now. Let's stop fronting with this stuff. You ain't going to build no black economic society. You ain't going to build no black America. You ain't going to do none of that. You see what I'm saying? And you know, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to discourage you, but I'm trying to get you out of one building that don't work and try to get you into another building. Everything that you want to do, your thing is trying to sustain the white man's society. That's right. If you do anything in this system, you do, this system is coming down. Okay? So we want to do those things. So you, you put that thing to Thunderdog, he's a, 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 this particular person is powerful. When we make contact with him on April the 8th, 9th, and 10th, and the sister can bear witness to that because she was in the circle. This sister and the sister back here, you raise your hand. They can bear witness to that because they was in the circle. They blacked out the whole town of Pinson, uh, which is in Tennessee. Blacked out the whole town. You see, he came on a white horse. You know, so that, pay up, that, that, that white horse is actually talking about our warrior. You see, so these are some things that's going down and, um, and um, we, we need to get that. Okay, those are the first things. Now, let's start and take you where I want you to go. Number one, Manetho tells you that you had, what, 5,500 pharaohs in the dynastic period and 800 in the pre-dynastic period. Roughly, we're talking about close to 10,000 years. When the Greeks asked Manetho who used to rule before them, he said a whole bunch of gods used to rule. Those gods were none other than there, there wasn't no spook people running around and stuff. It was you when you were at your God level when your spiritual centers was open. Okay? So what I want to do tonight is I'm going to take you way back to the God when we used to do things when we was gods. We're going to deal with that. Okay? We're going to deal with that. Because now we know that if you don't claim it, all the white people are claiming Atlantis and Lemuria. We already, we already got it. We already found a tribe in West Africa that already traced their history back to Atlantis and Lemuria. So it, Kemet is where we prevail. You see what I'm saying? That's, you don't want to go back to that. You want to go back to God. You understand what I'm saying? But the records of Kemet is the doorway to get you back to God. But this is when we fell when we had to record things. A tribe in Africa that predates everything and traced their history all the way back to Lemoya. We just came back from uh, Monroe, Louisiana, that has been given to the Empress Burdesby, who is a black woman that owns all of the United States on the west side. She owns Alabama, uh, Florida, Alabama, South Carolina, all the southern states and all the northern states. She owned all that put up in the county. This is her land because when they got here, it was a group of black people, royal black people that was here. Now she owned all this land, and to keep her quiet, they've already given her Monroe, Louisiana. So now we went down to Monroe, Louisiana, because she had her official state uh, 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 induction or whatever you want to call it, ceremony, declaring Monroe, Louisiana hers, because the government gave it to her. Now, already white people have already started moving out of the place. <laughs> but we got, but this, and Monroe is no little old hick town. Monroe got nice tall buildings. I went up and I said, oh, you shoot, you hooked up. You got a nice river. And she's from the Washita Nation. Come to find out that the, the native, that you call Native Americans or the Indians, for derogatory term, was a bunch of nomadic people. So they didn't have records because they lived on the land. But there was a royal government here called the Washita uh, Nation. That was here, and the first four presidents were black people. And George Washington, being a mulatto, carried it on into the other, other sector because Washington, Washington means the children of Awas. Washington means the, the city of Awas. I'll tell you who he is in a minute. And Washington means the children of Awas. And what had happened was, and you know this got to be true, because 
you know, he was the first president in Washington or whatever, was the first one. He, now, now, the more say he was this Malala, but isn't it funny? And any time you say the word Washington today in the modern day, is somebody black named in front of us. You don't see no white people named Washington now. You see what I'm saying? They used to have a joke, Kunta Kinte translated Willie Washington. <laughs> so you don't see no white people with no name Washington now. Denzel Washington, you know, all these Washingtons. You see what I'm saying? But there's no, that is, that is a black name because it was always a black name. And there's a whole history, and to let you know it's history, that's got the book Return of the Ancient One that's got all the government documents of this person's land. Now, the reason why they had to give it back to her is because, like I said, she hooked up with a, with a, with a, uh, with a godhead called Awas. Awas is the original name called El Sut, which means the god black, in a place called El Camoria, which is the original name of Atlantis and Lemoy. Al Kamoya. Al, which means God. Kim or Cam, that means black. And Moria or Moor, that means Lord of the Earth. This is the original one. Now, where do I get this information from? Number one, there's only so much that the scholarship is going to take you. Because there's only, much, only so much that he can uncover. There's only so much that his mind can take you to this particular point. And there's only so much this. I tell anybody, they talk about um, um, where you get your sauces. Don't you know that they got sauces locked up in the British Museum? And everything? You'll never see that. In the University of Chicago, they got papyrus that you'll never see. So, so, so the whole point about it is, one of the reasons is we have to tap into the spiritual level. And once you tap into the spiritual realm, you get everything. You see what I'm saying? Now, I got... I've been channeling because they come and, you know, I, you see the tapes are four and five hours long. There's no way I can read that many books. But the Spirit gives me what I need out of the books. You see what I'm saying? Now, the other sister, she taps in. She, she goes straight to serious. So we get straight up answers coming straight up to the, from the God here. So this is the stuff we're dealing with now. We don't have to. This is not just a theory anymore. I'm going to tell you complete systems of the hierarchy to get us off the planet. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, let's put this way, excuse me, get the beast off the planet, because this is our planet. But some of us are going to go on too. You see what I'm saying? To other realms, because you will complete this particular graduation. So at that time, we want to go all the way back. Add a suit, which means suit, or the word suit, or suit, suit, which is suit typhon, which means, which is the first primordial god of Kemet. See, what we don't realize is when you, you, you hear the Ostarian drama, that is a later drama. There's soot that goes all the way back to Atlantis, which was named Al Soot, which means Al means God and Soot means black. Soot, Al Soot is also named the God Kim, which is talking about melanin. So we're going to take this melanin thing on a cosmic realm now. We got the, the sister that just backed it up on the chemical, or uh, 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 what you would call the medical realm, or the, in, in also. So we're going to go now to the metaphysical realm of this melanin. Okay? So now, Al Sut is the most now. I know everybody, it's you in your religions in the whole nine yards. Al Sut means Allah. We break it down. Al Sut is the word Sut. The word Sut later on becomes Har, um, Ra Har Kitty, or Ra Har, Ra Heru Kahuti, or another name in Heliopolis, or the city of Om, Ra Har Kitty. Ra Har Kitty later on becomes Atan. The word Atan later on becomes, in the Hebrew faith, Adon, Adani, which means Lord. Adani and, uh, and Atan later on becomes El, which means God, and La, which means the triple blackness of space, which means the great mother, because Allah was created out of the feminine principle of the universe. So when we're talking about this, we're talking about this same El Sut, which is also called Awas in Samaria. It's called Awas. In Greece, it's called Pan. It's called Pan. And we're going to get deep into this thing today because I'm going to show and tell you. Well, we gonna, I hope y'all got time. <laughs> I got six pages here and I hope you got time. We're going to go in this stuff. I'm going to show you some stuff. Hmm? I'm going to show you some stuff to show you that the white man's devil is your God. You see what I'm saying? The white man's devil is your God. You have no devil. You only have the lower self, the lower part of yourself. You understand what I'm saying? And the only devil you got is a mutant that was created. Now, forget Dion. 
And we're not saying this so he did some good stuff with right. But I don't want no he read he he had the best release of Biblium El Manuk. He had the best release because he said it in his book. And when he got to the part where it said the, the Tamil who Tamil meaning created and who meaning the white light and bright people and the Tamil who meaning the created white people, he didn't put that in his book because he's married to the beast. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? He didn't put it in his book. So now I understand the whole thing about Diop and the whole nine yards, but the thing about Diop is Diop. That was crucial information. I understand he might not have been able to get it printed, but we had it in the temple of Seti One. Now, who am I going to believe? I'm going to believe the priest with 360 degrees, or I'm going to believe a bunch of niggas with some theories. Now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, Uncle Elijah Muhammad told you that he was a created man, and now I got sources and sources and sources dealing with him being a created man. The book I got, the human artificial that I put together, and I didn't have to write them, but I had to just put the sources of white people. Every last one of those sources in there talking about this created man is coming from white people. The only sources I used that was black was Richard King and uh, Dia, and you know a little bit of that. The rest of the stuff in there is telling you, but the white people saying that they are created. Okay. So now we're going to particular stuff. So uh, the reason why you say that I couldn't understand that some stuff I couldn't understand why they I was in Nevada and I couldn't understand why they hit on. Um, 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 made them white. No, I think she's snoozing now. Okay. She said she couldn't understand why they had made them white and a whole nine yards about them because they are not human. And once you accept them as being a um, human, you cannot get mad at a dog for being a dog. You see what I'm saying? Now, so what I'm saying is, now look, to let you know that I'm not a brother put in your leg, I'm the only scholar that speaks the longest, four and five hours, and that's money. I'm less money. Anybody tell you? Less money. And like I told people before, I don't have no car. I don't have no house. I don't have none of those things. Even though I went to school all, I gave up all of that. And if you come up there and your car break down in Atlanta and you got to catch the train, you might see me on that road. <laughs> let you know that this ain't no hypocrisy and I'm no charlatan, no bureaucrat trying to give you no bull jive. They're trying to shaft you. What I'm giving you here is straight up because I'm living with the minimum of what a person, the minimum of what a person can live. So I'm not trying to share. I'm not trying to make no money in the whole nine yards and stuff. You see what I'm saying? That's the whole deal. I live it, because number one, I'm going on another level. I don't need the stuff that you still need that you're killing each other over. You got an inferiority complex because you don't have this particular car in the whole nine yards. How in the devil can a white man make a Mercedes Benz? Probably make it in the same dog on faction he make the Volkswagen. He put an emblem on it, and you buy the thing, spend money, and think that you are actually better than your brothers and sisters in the project because of an emblem that the dog on white man gives you. I'm going to ask you another question. We need to start thinking. Oh, we need money. I don't care what you say. We need money. I want to ask you a question about this money thing. You think for one dog woman you're going to get on top of the beast? Don't I know you? Huh? Yeah. Do I know you? Yes, you know me. Dog, I know you. <laughs> Billy, where? Where did I know you from? Your last lecture. <laughs> that was, uh, I, you got to, I, I, I must have was looking at you a whole time. But I, 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 anyway, I'm going to ask you this question. Now, how in the devil are you going to say you're going to get on top of with money? Oh, we got to get money. We got to get paid. Don't you? I'm going to ask you a question. Even if, because the white man didn't really take away the dollar bill. We know that. He might do it in July. He might do it in September. Just, you know, fine. But I'm going to ask you this question. How is it that you think that you're going to get on top of the white man by gaining money when the white man got a machine to come back? Y'all talk about that. I want you to think for a minute. Oh, you, oh, they, they, uh, money means power. Them brothers got six or six, six or six trillion million dollars. The white man got a machine that make the millions of dollars. You ever thought about that? And you thinking you're going to get out of this by money. You see what I'm saying? Don't work that way. So these are some things that we want to get you over. We want to go, go back to the point when you, you were gods. Is it not written in your law that ye are gods? John, what? John chapter 10, verse 31 to 36. Is it not written in your law that ye are gods? What, what also what it says? He says, be ye perfect as I am. Not just to read, but the man is sleep. You can't, in the English language, name but two perfects. Perfect means the exact, do, if he is perfect, and he's telling you to be perfect, that means that is the exact duplication of what he is. So therefore, the things that is in him that makes him Christ is no 
only form which is a title other than one particular being, is the same thing as in you. He's saying you have the same physical capabilities in you. Right now, if a person is not telling you to rise yourself up to God, don't get into it. Right. It's all about becoming God. Yes, no, serious right. business now. Listen. Yes, that's right. That's right. Anybody telling you any of this other bull job, right. they ain't telling you that you God and we got about 4,000 messiahs now. Well, you so, oh, we got one in Israel now. You know, we had, you know, we talking about the black ones. We got one in Israel now. We got one in, in Atlanta now that moved from New York. We got all these messiahs. But, they, but, but the whole point about it is that they're not telling you that you God took that's right. That's right. The whole nine yards. Now listen to this. The Messiah is one that comes to jumpstart the rest of his brothers and sisters' brain to lift them up to the same level that he is. So therefore, he has nothing over you. It's just that he's been blessed to come and get the juice to give you the juice. Understand what I'm saying? So if you start following him, you are lessening yourself in your chances of getting the juice. So therefore, if a person ain't telling you to raise yourself up to God, and I ain't talking about no religious doctrine, good moral teachings, that they had to get the beast, that they copied off a mirror of our nature. They had to give him that to learn how to behave, not to become God. Because his faculties ain't going to take him there. But they had to give him that to learn how to behave. So we're not talking about religious moral doctrines that you learned in doggone um, Sunday school. <laughs> and and, and spent the rest of your life repeating them things again. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Not that. Because like I said before, any preacher is preaching every Sunday. Mm -hmm. If he's righteous on this righteous path, 10 years from there, he don't have nobody sitting in the church. Yeah. They're supposed to have all graduated and going on to teach other things. <laughs> To what God was, okay? So let's go all the way back. Number one, in this time of Atlantis and Alcamoria, that a bro there was a brother from here, he's from America, that went over to Ghana and found a people that traced their history back to Lemuria, or what we would call Alcamoria, because they took Atlantis and Lemuria and split it up. It means Alcamoria, one land mass and one people on one planet. That's why you go everywhere else and you see they didn't migrate there. It was one land mass before continental drift. Now we know that the continental drift is when Atlantis went down, a part of that went down, then the places separated. So we're talking about one people. We're the only planet that got all these races. Only one. Everybody, they got one, one race. If they have a freaking nation, they might have two. You understand what I'm saying? Now, before I get into this, I got to say some things on the spiritual level. The spiritual level is this. You got to, you got to start having a certain love for your people. And I'm not, and what I'm saying this is this: pick the lowest, most hideous black person out there. And if you go into meditation, that's the person I want you to focus on and fall in love with. I want you to get to the level whenever you see the people that you despise, you just look at them and you just love them because you know they God. I look at black people now, and don't pick the one that the white man has told you this is a pillar of society. That's the white man's nigga. High price, honorary paid white man. I'm talking about get the lowest one, and I want you to feel that love for him. I'm talking about, at this particular point right now, I'm talking about, the reason why I don't need no money, because I'm so much in love with black people. And I, I'm looking at some people, they don't even know who they are, they dead, but I love them. This is the kind of stuff we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? This is the kind of love we got to start doing. Because God loves, and you got to come a God. Otherwise, the God that loves stupid as we've been the last three, four hundred thousand years, he'd have been there to kill us. So God is patient. You understand? So you got to become a God. Okay? So these are some things. Now, we go back to Alcamoria, or Atlantis of Lemuria, or Mu. There are some things that's going on when we talk about Kim. Now listen to this. All the great stuff that you see in Kemet, all of it, is the greatest thing to this day. There's no white man that can ever produce a society or nobody else to match what we did. But do you know that the stuff that we did in Kemet was stuff that we did when we failed? You see, the problem is, is the reason why we can't go beyond that because the acquisition community came and they gave you the Kemet stuff. And you know how it was, we was on a high for a 
a while. John Henry Clark was pumping hard, Dr. Ben and all the people was pumping hard, and then all of a sudden it kind of died out because it became redundant. You know, you done heard it all before. And you still ain't free. And if you, if you really ask them, how, and, they, and I saw this every time they used to come, and God bless them, because their role was not, their role was to get you familiar of who you were at a certain point. To remember your history. But then as to remember the mission, this is where myself or Deborah Blair or Brother Dawood or anybody like that can take it to another level. And so now, the younger brothers are here now, and now we're taking it to this other level. You see what I'm saying? And I didn't take the thing, the brotherhood put me here. You see what I'm saying? So now the reason why they would come up and every, every time they go through all of that, somebody asked them, I remember this every time, all of them speak, man, sort of, and all of them, they say, how we gonna, I was fine, how are we going to get out of this? And they'll give you some philosophical answer. Well, teach it to your kids. You know, I believe the children of the future. That old fool job, that still don't hold no water though. Yeah, you, get it, you see what I'm saying? That is because you got to a certain level and you didn't go on is because one reason is they didn't go back farther enough and plus also two, they did not tap into the mystery. Or oh, they talked about the mystery system. But that was the real stuff about the little bit of science and all that stuff about the mystery system. I'm going to go into some stuff tonight to show you what you're really dealing with the mystery system and all. Now, in Atlantis that we talk about, you had what is called, you functioned straight off, you had the chakras open. You had the crown chakra open to give you the halo that Jesus was walking around with, a faculty that you got in you, and you said, oh God, he the only one, and you got it in you. That's right. When you was all functioning on the God level, you see, that's what he said, just as I have done great works, greater works you shall do. Just as you were functioning under God, that we were all functioning God. You know how Elijah Muhammad used to say, there was a time when we used to carry on, we used to light up like fire flame. But we don't even, we got to get you back to just what you was functioning off of this 26,000 year history. Because you know our earth, every 26,000 years it goes into a great year, a new year, a, a new eon, which, which they call it, uh, or end of an eon, which the, which the Jews call the end of the world, but they was actually talking about the end of a world or a structure or a government. You see, and if it wasn't right, it couldn't go through to the next cycle. You see what I'm saying? So now the stuff that you have been learning is this, in this 26,000 year cycle, when you've got things going to begin. But we're talking about before that. You see what I'm saying? Now, he's talked about the times when you were gods. Now, at this particular time, you dealt with the chakras open. Who get this gum out of my mouth? <laughs> you dealt with cosmic memory of the acoustic records, or the archetypes of the collective uh, of, the, of the collective unconsciousness, which is the cosmic records. So therefore, you could do anything you could do. Now, now, this is what I'm talking about, the stuff that you, you got to deal with. Can you imagine anything that you can think of? You are that. Anything that you can think of in your mind, you can do. Well, you could do that and nothing short of that. Therefore, you didn't need what you had in Kimmy. It just so happened we have gone so low until when we look back at Kimmy, we go, oh, that's some great stuff. When we talk about beyond that. Now, at that time, you didn't need mathematics. Now, we're talking about mathematics and what we would call logic or reasoning and stuff came in when other faculties shut down. At one time, the physical world was like a blur. And the spiritual world, you can see everything. As your spiritual center shut down, because you got trapped, you, you had, first of all, when you first seeded the planet, and if you first seeded the planet, you was in communications with the gods. You were one. But there's a section of the gods that got trapped into the third dimension and the other section got, uh, was actually cut off. So the most ancient gods that they talk about are the gods that used to be their cousins that was cut off or on the other side of the outer side of the outer gateway. And so when they got cut off, they were still gods of the physical plane. But as time went on and on and on, the physical plane and their faculties began to shut down. At that time, the spiritual world was what you was functioning on, and the physical world was a blur. But you didn't really need it, because the physical world is all an illusion. Then the illusionary world became more and more clear, and the real, real world, the spiritual world,
world became dim, dim until it's cut off. Until now you are into the physical world, totally. This is the real death. Okay? So, mathematics and the stuff that we want over that we call intellectual education came in to use as the faculties because you didn't have the spiritual faculties, so you use that particular stuff to sustain yourself in society. You see, this is when the mystery system came into play, or the schools of Kenneth, because they said, because it, because it's, it's baffling the white scholars. They said we we see a time where it's, there's nothing. We can't find no records of nothing. A few little things here and there. And see, all of a sudden we got something go boom, just blew up like this. We got this marvelous civilization, and we don't see no gradual build up. You know, in America, you see a gradual build up. You know what I'm saying? And the really, the only reason why they started building New York City and all that is right after they came out of Kimmy in the 1900s and had your papyrus in the British Museum, which is, all, which is the Syrian architecture papyrus in the British Museum, boom, New York came up. You see what I'm saying? Because the first buildings were pyramidal structures in New York. Even your Empire State Building and all your other buildings. Then they started going to the flat stuff. You see, but as a matter of fact, now they're trying to get back to this other dimension, so they're building these new cities, Atlanta, uh, Atlanta, uh, Jacksonville, Florida, uh, uh, what's the one in North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, they're putting the pyramids back. That's for a reason, because they're trying to sustain themselves. But the ship's going to tell you all that now. Well, We're going to get to that now. So, now, this is when the mystery system came up. It came up because you could no longer function as the Godhead. This is why you had to go to the schools for 40 years to learn how to be what? God. Not to be no doggone priest and not to be no doggone intellectual and all this stuff. To be God. So when the things you see in the Bible and the Holy Quran where they talk about these people doing miraculous things, those are true stories. But you thinking it's so scooped out and way out now it's because you've been trapped into this physical element so long until the actuality, the things that used to be your normal functions, you think it's miraculous. So all the stuff in the pineal glands and the chakras was just like your eyes and just like your mouth and just, it's just like any other function. Instead of five senses, you had a thousand senses. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Now you cut down to five. Okay? Uh, uh, now you cut down to five. And you remind me because I got to, uh, I had to come to Chicago. Come to Detroit, close as I can get, because I gotta give a message to Minister Louis Farrakhan. And because y'all you know, that they don't become a victim of their own security system, I guess that's good on the fruit. But there's some things that's going down, I gotta give this message to both him and Colin, and I'm gonna give it on this film tonight. So you all get the thing in the nation of Islam and show you what the white boy dealing with, because they tried to do it with me. Okay, check, so we're gonna deal with that. Okay. Alright. This physical realm. You got shut down in this physical realm and then all of a sudden you had to have the seven liberal arts and all that to function. <laughs> to become God again. This was the mystery system of the, of the Zohar, the, the Kabbalistic schools, of the Gnostic schools, of the Sethian schools, of the Essene schools, of the, of the Sufayic schools, where you become God. Now the difference between the two religions, the religion, the organized religion is given to the masses of people that have gotten so degraded or, or so degenerated until they just have got to learn how to act again. So you give them good moral code. You understand? The mystery system is what, up, what is up under those schools where you learn how to be God. So the reason why you trying, you can't get it, you say, I can't understand how my religion correlates with this in the moral code is the simple fact that you're still stuck in the baby stuff. You see what I'm saying? The baby stuff. You see, that's why Muhammad had to write the Quran for them y'all gonna stab the arrows. Hell, the black man had been in Arabia for thousands of years. They didn't need the Quran. So Gabriel had to come down a black man, a blue black man, because even out of the crowd in the, in, the, in the 1920s, they said, who is this Awas? He said, I'm telling you, the Awas is the same blue black man, or one like the same blue black man that gave, what's the name of the Quran? So he was a real person from the Elohim, from the 24 scientists, from whatever. He was a real person. This Awas is a real person who I met up with who I'm in contact with. So now we ain't dealing with no bull job here. I'm telling you, and I know this is, might sound crazy, but I, if, if God is my witness, you're going to bear witness to this stuff in the next couple of months. And like I said, I, I'm, I, I'm so much on a high level until I can say this. I don't give a dog on what y'all do. I ain't trying to convince you to follow me because I don't want y'all to follow me nowhere. I ain't asking you to follow me nowhere. I ain't asking for nothing but a little bit of little fees I get or whatever. But I'm telling you right now, bear witness, you're going to bear witness to this, and I don't give a dog on whether you believe it or not. It really don't care. It ain't up to me. You're going to trust in God, or 
or you're going to become God whether you like it or not. Or you're going to suffer the consequences. You're straight up. All right? Now, where was I before I got off? <laughs> Yeah, the mystery system. Now, what's happening with the mystery system? In the in the Islamic schools, you have the Sufis. In the Christians, you have the Gnostics or the Essenes or the Sethians or the pre-Christians. In the Hebrew, you have the Kabbalistic, the Zohar, and you have the mystery system of Kemet. Okay, because we know that Moses came about of that, and to make reference to that, now we have known, now we know that the story of Moses. The complete life of Moses was the life of Abnath that grew up in the Pharaoh's house. It's of Abnath. And he had, a, he had a priest, a high priest, as Manetho states, who was the actual person back in Kemet. When the Greeks asked him, what about this Moses character? He would say, oh, that was a, he was a student of Abnath, who was the first person of monotheism that gave you Atan, which means the son in Sirius. Or uh, Ra Heru Kahuti, which means the sun in Sirius, and Adon or uh, Adani comes from that. And Moses was a doggone student of Akhnaten. So the life of Akhnaten was actually the life of Moses, and the life in Moses, the life of Aaron. Aaron is actually Moses, who was a student of Akhnaten. And after Akhnaten, there's some other stuff. Uh, there's some other. I got a whole tape on it. We'll get into that later. After Akhnaten passed on, Moses took his teaching, his teachings, and actually gave it to them, and they started worshiping Moses. But it's actually Akhnaten, and they got the actual stuff verbatim. But now the brother that did the book, he's thinking that Moses never existed. That's not true. Because the hierarchy said, yes, he did. He was just a high priest, you see, of that. So the mystery system is also the, 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 the actual mystery school for the Hebrews, as well as the Zohar, which your Kabbalistic or your Tree of Life or your Holy Kabbalah, that we'll get in in a few minutes, which is the autonomy of the body of God. Your Bible is supposed to be a book of your soul. And how to get back to what you used to be. Straight up. And some of the actual stories that you see that it don't make no sense, they was turned into literal stories, but in actuality it was metaphysical stories to get you to a higher level of God, as well as your Holy Quran, and as well as all of your spiritual books. So you have that. And in, in all of your particular schools, you have schools of under those. So we're talking about mystery school now. You see what I'm saying? So these are the things we're dealing with at this particular time. The mystery system. Now, let's go on. All right, so you had this memory, logic, and all this stuff you had to replace what you used to do in the spiritual realm, okay? So now today, man thinks in concept. In Atlantean time, man thought in images. That's why when you see the Medu Nejib of the Word of God, you saw images. Those images triggered the archetypes of collective unconsciousness in the melody or in the brain. So you saw images. And so what you used to do as a child, you have enough brain capacity to remember everything in the world. So therefore, when you ran up in a situation in life, you just went into your computer and you already had the data to spit it out. So therefore, you didn't need no school. You didn't need no mathematics. You didn't need none of that. Because you had a library in your brain. So you would remember these things. It was just like a big computer that had everything. It was the ultimate computer. You understand what I'm saying? It is the ultimate computer. Because... The crystals is also in the melody. And all computers have crystals. You see what I'm saying? So that is the white man's way of dealing with what you used to have and his thing is still inferior. Because your program never, you didn't have no viruses in your program. You understand what I'm saying? And, 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 and the whole thing, it was like, you didn't have, like you said, oh, this doesn't compute because I don't have the files for this. No, you had detail files as the terminator said, oh, I got detail files. <laughs> well, you had detail files, but not only on the earth plane, but the whole cosmos we're going to get into. You see what I'm saying? So now these are things that went on. Now, black people are being taught wrong by using too much logic instead of spiritual cosmic energy that is tapped inside. Okay? Tapped inside. Now, number one, I'm not, I don't read stuff off paper. I just got a little trigger notes, so when the spirit hit me, I, I get lost, so I have to come back down and find my place, and I come back up to you. <laughs> now, so these are some things that went on, and the, like I said, the spiritual world was blurred, and certain things, so in actuality, all you had as living vessels of God was your body. You didn't need none of this stuff. As a matter of fact, a, a, a crystal city, you could become a part of the actual city. All you got to do is 
look at anything on the on the uh, uh, science fiction movies. The white boy will tell you everything that these people could do in the science fiction movies you used to could do. Everything the Terminator could do, this is what the black man used to could do and the black woman used to could do. Anything that you can imagine in your mind you used to could become. We've been talking about other levels of vibration. And those vibrations, if you slow down that vibration, you could become that thing in a physical realm. You understand what I'm saying? And these are things that can happen. And so these are some things we're going to get you back on too. Because there's some things that I'm going to tell you that you're going to have to do. And you're going to commit to this because I'm going to give Sister Elaine the paper. Number one, first of all, I want you to get whatever religion you're in, I want you to call out your gods. If you're in Islam, I want you to call out the Mazifas. And then we want you to still call out the rest of the gods. I'm going to give her a list of the gods and you go through them every morning. I'll get to that in a few minutes. We're going to give you some juice to get you on the frequency. Okay, is that all right? Yes. You want to get out of this thing? I'm going to give you some juice. And if everybody do this thing, i tell you what, me, and, me and, and my queen was the only two doing it. And this cosmic people say, oh man, you're already changing realms. you already changing parts of the astro with just two of us doing it every morning. Now what you think about if all you all did? You see what I'm saying? But y'all don't believe in that. You know what I'm saying? The Bible tells you of all these great miraculous, miraculous things you call miracles. They weren't miracles. They were just functions of life. You can manipulate the forces of the universe and do what you want to do. But yet, you're not worthy of doing these things. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and so the whole problem is because we have a lack of belief in self. You used to meet with the cosmic angelic host daily because they were your cousins. So you could communicate with them daily. You understand what I'm saying? It was no problem. You could communicate with them daily. What had happened was, after you got further and further shut down in your first eye, not your third, your first eye, because remember, this was the spiritual eye that you had before your, these two eyes became visual and shut out that eye. So it's actually your first eye. You know what I'm saying? The third eye, they did call it the third eye in Kimmy, but this is what the spiritual hierarchy told us that we need to start our dressing by. So the first eye. Because this was the first eye of Atlantis, and we're going into the eye now. We're not going through the time when we talked about that and had the other two eyes and understood it. We're talking about going into this eye and understanding what was behind the veil. You see, they say, I'm Isis and no one has seen behind my veil. You see, so we're talking about the first eye. So you used to meet with the angelic host daily. So now when you got cut off from them, this is when your rituals used to come over like a telephone. So you do the ritual and get in touch with them. In the mystery system, it's so much that the actual operation, you get sick, there was so much operation you could do physically. Then they would do the stuff and call on the gods, and the gods would actually come in and operate on you. So what you call it, God healing you in a miracle, it wasn't nothing but the doggone netters of the gods coming in and operating on you on a spiritual path. And this was times when we all used to be at one, and you got to start thinking this way. You see what I'm saying? Because they're all very upset with us because we don't deal with them. You see what I'm saying? We don't deal with them. If you got some money, and you fix your plate of food, fix your plate of food for the ancestors, too. Oh, they was in the ancestor. Wait, wait, wait. Where did you get that from? They was in the ancestor worship and all. No, we was in the ancestor communion because we were gods. That's right. If the black man and black woman is God, then what the hell is the ancestors but God? Right. Think about it. You see what I'm saying? Oh, but you, yo, oh, the Christian religion come in and they don't tell you about the ancestors, but they tell you about the dog on angels. If you take it far enough. But if you just take it far as your religion is, hey. Well, if your God is doing something for you, then you don't need to even be up in here. You see what I'm saying? You don't need to be up in here. Why are you asking for answers? Because your God is sufficient. Your God is sufficient, but now your God is telling you, look, you got the sufficient sufficiency in you. And in order to get to get to me, you gotta go within and look for no God outside of yourself. This is how we're gonna get off this particular foolishness that's going on. They're saying, the cosmos has already said, I heard it in, I heard it, I heard it in the first of 93. Sister from Chicago, she said, oh yeah, they, she would write it out. She said, oh, they saying, hey, they tired of us praying. Oh, I heard it again, I heard it about four times. They said, they tired of you praying. You the God. This is not written in your law. They hear God that Jesus is talking about. So this is the stuff we're talking about getting to this particular God. So you used to meet, meet with them totally. Now, deal with some stuff on you. Man and woman... There's nothing beyond you in the whole universe. Nothing. You are the expression of God in the universe. Man is the highest expression of God. That means there's a God. But the way that God expresses his 
himself, I say, that God that you talking about is a he. What you don't know is that God got a mom. So the problem you got here is you don't understand that God got a mom. So the God that you talking about, we'll say he for right now, because that is the one. We'll explain that. He expresses himself through man and woman. There's other life forms in the universe, but you are the head of the life forms. Why? Because you are the lowest right now. It lets you know that you were God because the other ones just like nature, like animals. They didn't fall. Only thing fell was you. And the reason why you fell because you had the free will and you had the power to be God, so therefore you had the power to bring yourself down to the lowest point. Because only because nature goes just like this. It never sinks, not unless you do some things to it. It's always there. The only thing that's capable of redoing itself is God. You see what I'm saying? God gives you different seasons. God gives you different expressions. So therefore, by you being God, you was able to be on top and on the bottom. And because you are on the bottom is the greatest thing in the universe. I'm going to tell you this now. See, you all getting all caught up in everybody getting their head blown off in the street. And all you doing, the white man going to give you more of that on TV. To keep you off the level of becoming God. That's why you got it on the news all the time. You ever thought about that a minute? If the white man was out for your dog on welfare, he wouldn't put it on the news. That means he's putting it on the news to keep you trapped in that. You see what I'm saying? All black people die. Black people been dying for 5,000 years. So what? You see what I'm saying? But you're talking about the physical realm. They're actually being transformed earlier than you. Those brothers are getting, and sisters are getting to go where you're trying to get faster. They just get a one-way trip out of here for being stupid. <laughs> they say, okay, you stupid, then okay then. Because you stupid, I got to give you the juice first to help you. <laughs> because you got a little sense, you, keep, you, you, you can be sustained a little while because you don't need as much juice. So therefore, we'll get into that. So now you are the highest expression of what God is. If the black man and black woman accepts Godhood, there will be no hindrance by ignorance and by superstition. There is no such thing as you going in sin. What do you mean by that? The sin that they was talking about, you couldn't be, oh, I, I didn't do nothing wrong, but I'm going in sin. I'm a lowly despised nobody, two years old, and I don't even know how to change my life again, but I'm going in sin. I'm a damn self. The sin meant ignorance. In Kemet, it was called ignorance was evil. And sin was ignorance. So you're born in ignorance, not knowing how to clean your behind. You see what I'm saying? You were born in ignorance. Ignorance was sin. And when you, each day you live, you're supposed to learn something. And the day that you didn't learn something was the day that you didn't live. So the, so the sin was ignorance. So you say you're living, so you're living in ignorance. That's the only thing that's just messing you up is you're ignorant. You see, we ignorant. Because we all in the kindergarten of God's knowledge, including me. See what I'm saying? Including me. I'm, I'm just 32 years old. I dare me come to you and tell you some things about what you're supposed to be doing. Like I'm, in, I'm immune from all this. Like I'm God. Yet I'm learning to be God just like you. So therefore, since we all on the same level, you get what I'm talking about. Because I ain't telling you to follow me nowhere. That's the beautiful thing, but I ain't telling you to follow me nowhere. I ain't telling you to give me no money. I'm not telling you to do none of that stuff. You see what I'm saying? So now, you are the particular gods that they're talking about, and so what happened is this particular ignorance is what's killing you. We'll get into some more things when I go into the alien agenda. Now, the negative thinking that's going on right now is the main thing that is getting ready to bring in this particular cosmic elements that's destroying things. They're saying now that the cosmos cannot take any more negative thinking because now the negative thinking, every time you think negative, it will manifest negative. You see what I'm saying? It will manifest negative. So you got to start thinking positive to manifest. Why? Because before we didn't have the certain rays that can manifest things that this particular cosmic ray that is on the planet now. You understand what I'm saying? But also too, because of black people thinking negative also, it means that the, 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 the cosmos is coming in to clean this thing up sooner. So in actuality, that's positive. You see, my thing is this. Um, you don't supposed to really be doing good. Don't think about it. You don't really supposed to be doing good. Because if you're supposed to be doing good, there would be no need for no 
a cosmic pickup. You see what I'm saying? And you see, the white man is scared because you are on the lowest part, there's the need for the earth to transform itself on a higher level. So in actuality, bad is good. You see what I'm saying? Because it's just like the ignorant thing, but when you thought, when the man gave you a few little duck duckies after he shot Martin Luther King in the head, and, and put all the civil rights leaders up in there, and they sold out and gave you a few dollars, that was the lowest part in your history, was the doggone seventies. When you thought you was doing good. My mama said, man, this is hurting me. We, I thought we thought we made it. And then all of a sudden, in the eighties, the walls started coming in down, tumbling down with, with Reagan, and she's saying, this is so bad. I'm saying, no, it's so good. You see what I'm saying? It's so good. Because your own demise or uh, involution is evolutionary in a process if you understand what's going on. You can only go so high by going to the lowest point. It's just like a bouncing ball. You know, if you take it and just bounce it like that, it ain't going to go so high. But if you take it and hit it with that kind of force and speed down, it's going to go even higher. But this particular time, you're going to go so high so you're going to pass Kemet, Atlantis, and the cosmos, and you're never going to fall again. This is the type of stuff we're talking about coming up with. Okay? All right. So you're never fall again. Now, we're going to the third dimension, and um, they're saying without you, the reason why they got the, you, you have to be the first um, thing to, to, to pick up. The entire universe at this particular time is waiting on us. We, we, so we, when we think of terms of us, we're not thinking of uh, nobody else on this planet but us. You understand? Because we are the original people. So everybody else is right behind us and the white man being last. You see what I'm saying? Or, or not being at all. So when we talk about these things, we're talking about the, the, the earth is waiting on us. They're saying that God can no longer express itself with you being this low because you are the expression of God. So the entire universe is wandering off course because you are not raised up to the God level to be the example on which the entire universe can go by. You understand? So they got a serious problem here. You see what I'm saying? Because in the universe, the archetype of what God was, you see in your mythology. When you see Osiris, <coughs> when you see Allah, and when you see all of the gods around the world was talking about black people who was the prototype of the par excellence, as they call it, the one that is born out of the eye of Heru, or the eye of Ra, or the eye of Sut, which means black, is par excellence in the model of the entire universe. Universe. Only people that's like this. Other life forms outside of this. So, so not only is it there, there's nothing on this planet beyond you, there's nothing in the universe beyond you, because you are the ones that's connected to God. And you are the only ones that fail the way you fail. Okay? Now, let's go on. The black man and black woman, what really made you fall? Well, somehow you implanted. You say, well, listen. Number one, there was a certain amount of evil in you, or lower nature in you, that in the evolutionary process you said you needed to graft that out. Arnold Elijah Muhammad talks about that. Where you would have no more negative in you, so when you rise up again as a model to be the universe, the universe can actually use you as none other than the absolute model to follow. So in order to graft that out of you, they implanted the ego. Which you're saying is it's protecting you. The ego is the ultimate manifestation of the devil. It's the ego. You can't, right now, just think if your own egos weren't tied with it, how far we can be from even helping our brothers and sisters. Even when we see our brothers and sisters in the ghetto, down, back, down, with your face in the mud, we use that as a stepping stone to lift ourselves up and make ourselves feel great. You understand how that goes? The ego is the ultimate manifestation of the devil and what they're talking about. That's why the white man is 100% ego. <laughs> and because now you have been made white or been made devils also, you are ego. So you say, I'm hard in the game. I'm hard. Or the sister might say, hey, I, I'm just here, you know. It's all ego. There is no love where there is ego because when there is ego, the love just gets out of there. So when you start arguing, the spirit automatically leaves. When the ego comes, the spirit automatically leaves. And we're going to get into that ego in a few. Deeper in a few. So that the ego was the thing that was implanted, that you implanted in yourself and made grow. The ego is the only thing that's outside of this dimension. And it's 
the only thing inside of this dimension that you don't need. You see, this is earth body, and this is the full embodiment of the white man. The way he treats his woman and the way he treats you is based on competition and ego. The lowest manifestation in the universe that's keeping you from God. Look, from God. Now, our solar system is now headed to the star sun series, which means it is being caught up into God. You know, in your Bible, they say the children will be caught 